Now, conventional wisdom, of course, is that there is no undo function on the DB01. That's not quite correct. If we hold down select and press back, we're back to where we were. Let's do that again. Hold down select, press back. Now you'll see in the delay here you've got RLD, so it's actually reload. And you'll notice it also restarts the sequence. So it's an undo function called reload, but it also restarts the sequence. So two things there that could be useful if you want an instant sequence restart. Here's another one. Now, you know, within a sequence, press a step. See here, we've got copy and paste, and you've got the bar buttons above it. So they're sort of copy and paste buttons here. So hold a step, copy, and you see CPY. Hold a step, paste, PST. So that's the quick copy and paste method. Copy, paste. And copy, paste, paste, paste. So we know within a track that's copy and paste, let's undo that. Going to pattern mode, it's exactly the same. Here's the pattern, the pattern that we were just on. Press and hold that, copy, paste, paste. So now we've done copy and paste on a pattern, but we didn't want those there, so we want to get rid of them. Here's the two octave buttons, octave down and octave up. Press and hold both of those. You see delete come up. Now, that's a question mark. Do you want to delete two? Yeah. So now that's dimmed. Press and hold both octave buttons. Delete. Delete three. Yes. So now that's deleted as well. So there's copy, paste, and delete patterns. Let's go into more dangerous territory and create a random pattern. So select an empty pattern. There it is. Go shift random pattern. This one is the steps. So press it to play. Nothing going to happen because there's no steps in it. <laughs> That's not too bad already. But let's figure out where it's starting. Well, <laughs> it's even starting at the right place. Ah, that's too easy. Let's try that again. Let's up the gate pattern to 60%. Okay, that's all right. So it's starting here. Now, just a reminder, if you haven't updated to firmware 1.08 yet, it is definitely worth doing because you've got the move start point function which I've covered before, but I'll do it again because it's so fantastic, especially when you're working with random patterns. So that is the note we want to start on. So we go shift and the bar buttons move the pattern, the whole pattern left or right. So that wants to be the start point. So we'll move it to the right. The start. It is the start. Okay. So now we've got the start point figured out. We've got a pattern that's not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but it'll do. Now let's have a scale. Shift scale. Now one thing I'd like to do is create a user scale. So let's light up all the possible notes. And you can just barely see what's meant to be the black keys here. Actually, it took me a while to figure it out. I'd look at this thing and go, eh? but that's just me. 
we'll go for something pretty obvious so we'll keep C and G and a couple of notes next to that so let's get rid of all of them press and hold record see so save come up so we've saved that scale so we go back into random pattern now in the scale function the low note have was one C and the high note make it reasonably restricted now this is just going to add pitches to our gates scale a bit maybe let's try that so save that as the scale Actually, let's get rid of that one so just three notes in the scale which would probably work all right for a bass pattern all right could be worse let's have a look oh well that's how we like that so shift record is the quick save there so there is our pattern now in this particular sound, the LFO is doing some very subtle vibrato. So there it is, not so subtle. But let's say, we really want to keep it like that, which means we can't have it doing much to the filter. But all is not lost. Let's go into modulation mode, mod mode, and that's mod mode for the filter. Now you can press and hold and individually adjust things, but that's a little bit tedious. But it's much easier just to play it while in mod mode. And when you press and hold the record button, it's going to record whatever the filter knob is on. So, see all the values changing. Now that's a bit random, so there's another way you can do it, which is put it low and then put it into a different position. Certainly not saying that's worked out brilliantly, but can be an interesting way to do things. Um, well, let's say that. Let's go to something I've prepared earlier. I'll just use this one to demonstrate something else, which is first and last step. So shift last step. There's 32 steps in this pattern, but here's a good trick. If you press two buttons at the same time, it'll make those the first and last step. the knobs, the left knob is first, right knob is last, so you can do it like that. But. So some 
Zendelei. I digress. That's first and last step. So what we might do is use this pattern here. Copy, paste, paste. So now we've got two versions of this pattern. Here is one of them. Go into last step. So we'll just create. Yeah, that's about as simple as you can get for that one. For this one. First last step, second bar. Well, that's a bit weird, why not take that one? So now, I'll just say that to be short. So now we've got these two little short patterns here. We've created them just to demonstrate chaining patterns together. Sounds as if it might be complex, but in fact, it's about as simple as it could possibly be. Hold down the select gate and then just press the patterns that you want. Two of them, two of them. Now, if the start of that sounded funny, it's because there is, I don't know whether you call it a bug, but mm, sort of a quirk that the first time you play the chained patterns, it will play the pattern that you're currently on first. Then it will play the chain that you've created. Subsequent to that, it will just play the chain. First time you do it, it'll play the pattern you're currently on first, and that might confuse things, but as long as you're aware of it, then it's not a big deal. So as soon as you select another pattern, your chain is gone forever, which is a bit of a shame, but not necessarily a big deal, because creating the chain is so simple as I say. Hold down the select gate, and then just tap the ones that you want. Gee, that was a terrible pattern though, wasn't it? Let's uh, try that again, just for my own dignity. but still a rotten uh, chain of patterns but you get the idea until next time see ya